All right, so we're gonna stand up nice and tall. We'll get started. We'll do our 45 minute total body. Just gonna start us off with a couple stretches here. So we'll do some stretches, cardio, strength, flexibility, a little bit of everything. All right, crisscross those arms. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, blow it out, sit it back in the heels. Good, breathing in through the nose. Exhale, blow it out. Nice deep breath in, sit way back. Good, one more time, all the way up, all the way down. We're gonna reach up and over, let that ear fall to shoulder. Relax into it and then take it back. Good, other side, up and over. Come on back. So just remember, really open up that chest, let the neck fall, come back. Both hands come down, you're gonna roll the shoulders out. So squeeze those shoulder blades together. Really opening up the chest. And then roll it forward, up and around, spread those shoulder blades apart, right here. All right, you ready for some hip hinges? We're gonna fold from the hips, not the waist. Here we go, lift it up, fold, all the way down. Unfold, come right back up. Do it again. Folding at the hips, all the way down. So we're just gonna wake up that back a little bit. One more time, fold it over. All the way down, unfold, right back up. Hands go on the thighs. We're gonna bring that belly button up to the spine and then down to the floor, okay? So we're gonna come up and down. You can look at your belly button and then look up. Really stretching out that whole back, mid back, lower back, glutes. Good, keep going. Three more, three, two, last one, fingers fall. Now you're gonna step your spine, roll it up one vertebrae at a time, all the way to the top, roll those shoulders again. Roll it forward, good. All right, we're gonna start to march it out right here. So I want you to have your water close by. If you need it, take a break, whatever you want it. This class is for you, so go at your own level. So if you don't wanna march today, just pump those arms, move your body whenever you can. If you wanna take it higher impact, jog it out. All right, I'll stay about moderate impact, getting those knees a little higher without bouncing. Just gets that heart rate up. All right, you ready? We're gonna bring those arms up overhead. Bring it up. Nice, bring those arms down, keep those knees high. Four, three, open the feet, shift the body weight, lift from the knees, get them up there. Bring it back together, arms overhead. Good, bring those arms back down, drop them down, roll the shoulders. Two, three, open it a little bit more, get into the back, open the chest, think posture, five, six, seven, now full arm, take it back. Five, six, all right, roll the shoulders forward, just four. Now get a little bigger for eight, up, two, three, good, stay tall, five, Six, seven, full arm, up and around, eight. So just stretching out those joints and muscles in the shoulder. March it out, right here. Bring those arms overhead, get them high up there. For eight, seven. Bring those arms back down, pop it out, get the knees a little higher now, keep the core engaged. Open those feet, shift the body weight. Lift those knees a little higher. Bring it back in, finish the song strong. I want you to do some circles out there to the side. Pretend you have that straight line right across your body. Get bigger and bigger right here. Drop those arms down, bring them right back up. We're gonna do the opposite direction. You ready? Open the chest. Bigger and bigger, right here. Get as big as you wanna go, faster. 
or slow. It's up to you. Just stretching it all out. Good. One more. Up and around. March it out. All right. Grab that water. Take a little break if you need it. If you don't need it, just keep marching. We're going to move on. All right, let's bring those arms out there. We'll do another cardio, then we'll take a break, okay? So you know this one. I love it, it gets our whole body moving. It's also a really good one to jog if you wanna go higher impact or get those knees a little higher, okay? Or don't use the legs at all. All right, here we go, up and down arms. Up, two, three, good. Get those elbows about shoulder height as they come down. Now pull them all the way down, pull them down. Open that chest. This is posture and cardio. Halfway again. Open. Two, three, nice. Four, five, six. Pull it all the way down. Right here. Up and pull. Two, three. Nice. All right, march your jog for eight. We're gonna do those arms to the front. Halfway. In four, three, two. Take it up. Halfway. Two, staying tall. Holding in the core. Five, six. All the way with the arms and a step if you want it. You can go up and back. Good. Bend way over, holding that core in. Good. Three, two, last one, halfway. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're gonna do it again. You ready? Take it up all the way. Go. Up, take it back. Two, take it back. Bend over. Three. Get way over if you want. Push your whole body right here. Two more. March your jump for eight. Eight, seven, arms are gonna go to the side halfway. Here we go, take it up, halfway. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Now you're gonna go all the way, crisscross those arms. Take it up, crisscross in front. Good. Opposite hand in front each time. That's four. So try to switch or alternate those arms. Halfway again. Right here for eight, seven, six, five. Now all the way. Take it up. Crisscross. Two. Crisscross. Nice. Only a four more. Three more. Two. March your jump for eight. Right here. Finish the song strong. Pump those arms. Bring those arms out to the side. Palms go up and down. So get those wrists. Stretch them out. Muscles around the joints. Staying strong. Now a little more twist. Four arms to the ceiling. Four arms to the floor. Nice. Now shoulder rolls. Roll that shoulder out there. Five, six, do the muscle man. Arms up and down. Up, two, three, four, five, six. Now touch the elbows in front. Touch, two, three, four. Nice. Try to think elbows. Open and close to the side. Right here. Open and close. Two, three, four, five, six. Roll the arms. Right here, roll, two. You got it. Stop those feet, fold forward, ready? Forward in a C, now open and squeeze those shoulder blades. Forward, open and squeeze. Forward, bend those knees a little bit. Get into that C, I don't say that often, but this is the one to do it. Good. So C shape. Open it up one more time. Forward, open it up. Palms go back, pulse it out, march it out. This is it, you guys. Come on, bring it down, bring it down. Pulse it back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Crisscross in front, right here. Just swing those arms right across your body. Open it up overhead, like a rag doll arms. Come back to center. Nice, come all the way down. Good. All right, let's take a little break. Grab your water, grab a chair. Oops, something's happening. Oh, yeah, 
uh, somebody said you can see that it's being recorded. All you do is click on the X button and you can get that message off. It's being recorded because I'm not gonna be here next week, so you'll have something to, to do next week. So you can just delete that box if it's in the middle of your screen. Just click on the little X, it should be in the corner. Hopefully no one else has that. If you do, let me know. Oh, sorry, we're not gonna march anymore. Get distracted, let's get the chair. We're gonna stretch out our ankles, get them strength and balance, okay? Feet are about hip width apart, core's tight. Lift those heels up and down. Heels up and down. Up and down. Straight up. Strings pulling your head up. Keep going. Up and down. Keep going. Oh, all right. I got it. I'm going to text Jamie really quick. Here, we're going to double time this. Double time. Three, four, five, six, seven, hold it up there. Hold it up there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift one knee up. You're gonna find your balance. I want you to stay there for a couple minutes. All right, other leg, you ready? Lift it up, just find your balance. Letting Jamie know about that, so hopefully she'll fix it down there. Lift up one leg, hold it up there, stay up there. All right, you ready? We're gonna go down and up. Here we go, down and up. Down, lift. Two, lift that knee in front. Three, four, lift up. Five, six, seven. Hold this one up right there. Hold it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it down. Other side, lift it up. Stay there. Stay there. All right, down and up. Here we go. Down, lift, two, lift, three. Lift it up. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold this one up. Nice. All right, let me know if it doesn't go away within the next minute, and I'm gonna just shut it all down, okay? So we're gonna stay here. One leg is gonna stay planted. You're gonna open your knee to the side and then shut it. Open it and shut it. Okay, so you're gonna just be open, internal, external rotation, or put your foot on the opposite leg, open and close. So it can be high or low, working on nice, nice stretching, but a lot of strength right here, holding your body nice and tall, keep your core engaged. Good, other side. Foot comes down, open and close. Nice. Okay, now open up a little higher. Let me know if that message went away on the TV screen. Do about three more right here. Three, two, and one, hold it there. All right, let's do a quick stretch. Use the back of the chair. Touch the back of the chair, walk those glutes back. Stay here, we're gonna stretch out that spine a little bit more, a little bit more. Shift your body weight right, shift your body weight left. We're gonna get ready to do some good lifting. Take it back. One more time, each side. Come on back. Walk those feet in. Excellent, I'm gonna have you touch or interlace those hands behind you. Take a deep breath in, exhale, and lift. Again, all right, Jamie just said it should be all fixed, so let me know if it's not. Bring your breath back down. Lift it up and then fold forward. Two, three, four, unfold. Two, three, and four. All right, you guys ready? Let's go on to some strength. I'm gonna have you pick up two weights. 
We're gonna go full force today. So I'm gonna do that upper body and lower body at the same time. I want you to modify this. Only do the upper body if both is too much, okay? I just wanna give you a lot of options for next week too, so just stay with the upper body. I'm gonna start with biceps, add in the lunge. You don't have to do the lunge if you don't want to, okay? So four bicep curls, then I'll add in the lunge. Bend those knees. Here we go. One, two, three, good, blow it out. Four, now you can add in the lunge if you want it. One, two, nice. Three, four, good job. Five, so the lunge is optional. Six, seven, and eight, excellent. All right, that's the first one. Second one, arms go to the side, then we'll add in a squat, all right? Here we go, four, one, two, three, and four. Now we have that squat right. Squat right, come back, now left, come back, good. Good, that's four, nice job. There's five, six, all right, they said it works, thank you, seven, thanks for letting us know, and eight, good. All right, done with that one. Next one's the tricep extension with a little touch back, okay? So we're gonna do a hip hinge, weights come to the hips right here, you're gonna go back, and then add the legs. You ready? Let's do it. Go. One, two, three, four. Add a touch back. One, two, three, four. Nice job. Hold it in that core. Engage it. Contract it. Seven and eight. Yes. All right. We got one more of the arms. We're going to go overhead. If you don't want to use weights overhead, just put them down. You can also alternate. So we'll do four and then we'll do a play squat with it for the last eight. Ready? Four, three, two, press it up. One, two, three, four. Add a squat if you want it for eight. One, two, yes. Push through those heels, squeeze the buttocks. Five. You got it, six, seven, and eight. Yes, all right. So weights come down to the side. I'm just gonna have you do one side, stand tall, then the other. Little waistline work in between. Nice and slow, staying tall. Working that core all the way around the obliques. Couple more right here. One more each side. Nice. All right, put those weights down. All right, we're gonna just stretch out those arms for a second. Give yourself a big old hug. I want you to drop your right ear to right shoulder. Stretch that neck. Open those arms wide, hug it out. Opposite arm on top, left ear to left shoulder. Excellent. All right, let's do a balance strength. We're gonna lift a knee up, crisscross it, lift it up, put it down, okay? So use that chair again if you need it. If you don't wanna do this one, you can practice just holding up your leg, one leg. So this one is good because you're lifting a leg in front, crisscrossing it, lifting it up, putting it down or hover. You ready? All right, here we go, lift it up. Lift, crisscross, lift and down. So touching if you need it, let go if you can. You can even take away the arms, that's the hardest one. Lift up with that knee. So when you're lifting, lift that knee in front, you're gonna be working the strength of the leg. You're working your standing leg as well. One more time, up, crisscross, up and down, woo. All right, other side, you ready? Here we go, lift it up, practice one, crisscross it, lift it up, and down, all right, up, crisscross, up, and down. Two, crisscross, up, nice, three. So you can take away the arms if you wanna try it. Woo! Five. You got 
two more right here. Lift from that knee, hold in the core. Up and down, yes. All right, we're gonna stretch right here and then we're moving on, okay? So open those legs wide, bend the knees, stick the glutes back. Opposite shoulder, opposite knee, don't move your legs. Good. And then we're quickly going into each one, side to side, only if it feels good. One, two, just do four of these. And then we're gonna shift our body weight into a side lunge. Hold on to the chair if you need it. And then other side, okay? So sit into the heels. Woo! And then back again, take that left hand, look up if you wanna add a little bit of extra neck stretches. Never a bad thing. Other side, I don't care how old we are, our necks always get tight. And then we start to lose range of motion in it. So it's good to stretch them as much as possible. Come back in the middle, arch your back, roll it up. All right, we're gonna do heel, toe, heel, toe in. Ready? Heel, toe, heel, toe, all the way in. Feet are together, knees are together. Bend down, bend those knees. Roll out your ankles. So you're gonna bring your knees around your ankle. Keeping your feet together, hold on if you need it, and then reverse it. All right, now we're gonna do our hips. Ready? Hands on the hips. Roll it up, big hula hoop all the way around. This should feel good too. Three and four, take it back. Got one more here, all the way around. Yes! All right, let's grab the chair for real now and sit down in it. I'm gonna do our chair squats. This is a great one because you can go at any level, any pace. If you need to push off, only if you need to, you can give yourself a little push. But if you don't need it, don't do it. Work on those glutes and hamstrings, okay? All right, 60 second squats and begin. So standing up, Sitting down, push off using the heels to the floor, squeeze those glutes. Good. Push up and down. If you want to make it more cardio, you can go faster. If you want to make it more strength, really emphasize good squeezes and contractions. Good. And then if you want to even try it without sitting all the way down, so you're not flopping down, you're just doing a little touch. Get a lot of options with this one, good. Push all the way up, through the heels, good. Keep going, squeeze. Woo, hot in my house. Nice, let's see, what do you got? 10 more seconds right here, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a seat, we're gonna recover. Grab a little water if you need it. Make sure you're taking those deep breaths in through your nose. And then blow it out. Take one foot, bring it forward, toe faces the ceiling. Nice hamstring stretch right here. Touch your shin, ankle, or toe. You should feel it in your calf as well. Try to keep a flat back so you're not arching over. We want to try to find a stretch in our hamstring. Come on out of that, other side. Lift tall, reach towards your shin, ankle, or toe. Deep breath in, blow it out, a little deeper there. Good, hold it, hold it, hold it. Woo! And let's do our really quick figure four stretch, and then we'll um, do this a little later on the floor, okay? So come all the way up if you can. You don't need to, you can crisscross at your ankles, let one knee fall. Or come all the way up, lean into it. Oh, this always feels good in the right glute right here. If you have your right leg up. Other side, other side. Let that knee fall. Shin, all the way up, lean into it. All right, we're gonna do another round of that upper and lower body at the same time, okay? So you decide, come on out of that if you wanna just do the upper or you wanna do both. I'll show you little modifications. Just remember to do what's right for you, okay? So grab two weights. I'll do the four bicep and then I'll add the legs 
with the bicep into a lunge, okay? Three, two, one, bring it up. One, two, three, four. Add the lunge if you want it. One, two, three, press it up. Four, nice. Five, six, seven. Try not to swing those arms. Lift and eight. Woo! All right, next one is gonna be the lateral side one, uh, side raise with a squat. All right, three, two, one, bring it up. One, two, three, good, keep that core tight. And four, add that little squat. Get it back, two, make sure you're sitting back. Three, four, nice. Five, sit way back. Six, chest stays open, seven, and eight. Ah, good job. All right, make sure you take a little rest. The next one is gonna be the tricep extensions, okay? So we're hip hinging forward, weights go out the hips, keep those elbows tucked in. Three, two, one, kick it back. So straighten and bend, two, Bend, three, four, add the toe touch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, yes. All right, we got one more of these. We're gonna stretch a little and then end up on the floor to get some really good glutes and core work on the floor today, okay? All right, last one, arms overhead, then you're adding in the plie squat. So toes are in a diagonal, 45 degree angle. Three, two, one, bring it up, go. One, two, keep those shoulders down away from the ears. Three, and four, add the squat. One, lift it up. Two, lift it up. Three, good. Four, press through the heels, squeeze the glutes. Five, six, seven, and eight. Woo! We did it. All right, you can put the weights down. We will use them for one exercise on the floor. So let's just stretch really quickly right here. I'm gonna have you touch your shoulder, grab your elbow, drop it down, bring it on over your spine. Good. And then if you want to, bring that arm up and over. So all you're doing is touching behind your head and grabbing. If you can't get here, if you have an injury or it just bothers you, just do it across. This is a little extra tricep stretch here. Come on down, touch your shoulder, grab your elbow, bring it across your body again. We're trying to stretch out that whole shoulder girdle and then up and over, touch behind, grab that elbow, bring it down. Get a little extra in the tricep. All right, we get our breathing back. So let's go down on the mat. All right, you're gonna lie on your back. We're gonna get some good work down there today. If you're not going on the mat, I have modifications for you. So you can do some exercises in the chair while we're on the floor. You can do knee extensions. You can do full leg lifts. So you do 12 on each leg. You can do legs in and out. You can do some nice crunches with the knees in. You're gonna be using the weights for a chest press. And you'll be doing your plank, okay? So your plank goes behind the chair and then you'll do stretches too. So lots to do either on the ground or in the chair. So if you can get down there at all, please try to get down. Use the chair to get down. You can use it to get up as well. All right, when you're down there, you can just lie on your back. Everyone should be there or close to it by now. If you want to rock it out side to side, you should feel good. This also is a good core exercise. Think about pressing that um, belly button down to your spine, engaging that core a little bit. One leg comes in, one leg is straight. 
Just stretch out your hips a little bit, legs, relax your shoulders. Woo, nice, other side. Relax, let your body melt into the floor a little while you stretch. And then we're gonna get ready to go right into our glute bridges. So we're gonna be working these glutes right here, okay? So I'm gonna have you lift those hips up. You're lifting from the hips, find the hip ball and get it up there. Rib cage, top of rib cage is down. Lift it up, bring those feet in a little bit. Hold it there. Okay, squeeze, you should feel that. Core, ready for down and up. Here we go, down, lift, two, press through the heels, squeeze, keep the core engaged, four, five, make this good, six, seven, eight, I'm going to 12 with these, 11, 11, Hold this one up and do a little bit of squeeze, extra squeeze of the glutes. Three, four, five, six, seven. Bring it down. Bring those feet and knees together. Let both knees fall right a little bit. And then left. Then bring the arms out to a T. Let the knees fall right. Look left. And then let the knees fall left. Look right. Do it again. And then take it back. All right, you ready for some ab work? I'm gonna do the tip, dipping the toes in the pool today. Did this one last week, I think, and it's really good. Keep the knees above the hips. Point your toes. Back has to stay on the ground. As soon as it starts arching, you gotta come out of this, okay? Keep your back down there. That's the way to get the core. Relax your shoulder. Dip one toe in the pool, and then the other. Okay, so this, should be the easiest right here, keeping that back down. So just don't go deep into the pool if your back's coming up. So dip it down, come back up, dip it down, come back up. Keep that back down. You should feel those muscles in your abs working. Now you can start to dip a little bit further out. Keep that back down. Out, drive it back in, really keeping the core contracted. Woo, nice job. Few more each side. Get way out there, straighten that leg as much as you can without totally being straight. And come back, yes, bring those legs down. Both arms out again, let both knees fall right, look left. And then come right back over to the other side, look right, let the knees fall left. And then you're gonna roll over onto your side. Okay, so. We're gonna do some side leg lifts today. Back those hips. Okay, so if you feel too rolly, if you're rolling forward, bend the bottom leg to secure it. Okay, keep your legs stacked if you can. Lift that top leg up, feet are parallel. Down, lift. Two, lift, good. Now you can have your arm all the way down if it's bothering your neck. Try not to hold yourself in place. Try to keep your core doing the work to hold yourself in place. Nice and controlled, not too big. Six, seven, and eight. All right, here's the hard one. You're gonna touch the knee in front of you. Knee in front, kick it out. Two, without rolling around. Three, four, we're gonna do eight of these. Five, so the knee comes up towards the belly button on the floor in front. Six, seven, and eight. Hold it there, point your toe. Touch that top leg behind the bottom leg, lift it back up. Ready? Down, lift up. Two, this is gluteus medius. Good. Four, five, six. Keeping that full back and glute strong. Seven, eight, yes. Bring it in, tap out those hips. Those are hard. All right, let's sneak in a clam, okay? So heels come towards your glutes, knees are forward. We're gonna open that leg wide and close it. Okay, ready? Open and close. This is so good for those glutes, those knees, ankles, that whole lower half of the body. It's a huge rehab exercise too for knees. Couple more. Woo! All right, we're gonna roll over 
into child's pose next. So it looks like this, okay? So you're gonna either stay in child's pose, we're gonna do a 60 second plank, or if you just can't get there, get on your back. And then you can do your opposite foot, opposite hand. All right, but otherwise, if you can plank at all, I'm gonna try to have you plank, okay? So sit into those heels. All right, you almost ready? We're gonna do that 60 second plank. So you're gonna do forearms and knees, forearms and toes are all the way up. You ready? Here we go, starting now, 60 seconds. Forearms and knees, four toes. Now I have some people who like to go all the way up, get a little more into their chest than their core. So just make sure those wrists are under your shoulders. The most traditional for core is being on your forearms, making sure your weight's evenly distributed. Good, and then I'm gonna give you the one-legged one if you wanna try that, okay? So, you're right here at 30 seconds. You're gonna be lifting one foot on top of the other for 10 seconds. This is totally optional. You don't have to do any of these. Woo! Other foot, 10 seconds. Good, and now both feet right here. Stay here. Last 10 seconds. We're already down to four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Sit back in child's pose again. Deep breath in, blow it out. Lift up fast, fall a little more into the thighs. Good. And now we're gonna go over to the other side. All right, so over on the other side, Take your time getting there. Make sure your alignment is good so you're in a straight line. Your hips are one on top of the other. I always tell people to think of the pole coming from the ceiling, pole, hip, hip, floor. If you're rolling too much, bend the bottom leg to secure your body. And you can also be down. All right, you ready? We're gonna lift that top leg. Here we go. Lift, not high. Three, four. Keep the feet parallel to each other. Each other. Seven. Eight. Couple more. All right, we're gonna do that knee to the front. You ready? Here we go. Up, knee to the front, and then kick it straight out. Knee to the front. Use the core to hold yourself in place. Three, four, five, Seven and eight, that's it. Point your toe, touch behind the bottom leg, lift it back up over the bottom leg. One, up, two, up, three. You guys were almost stretching after this. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring those knees in. Heels go towards the glute, towards the tailbone. Knees are in the front. Feet stay together on the floor. Top knee opens and closes. All right, let's do this. Last hard exercise. Two, three, four, five. Nice. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Roll over onto your back. Ah, you did it. All right, we are gonna just stretch it out for the last five minutes. Fantastic job. So I want you to just lie on your back here and let your body melt into the floor. You can just let those arms fall out to the side. Knees can be bent or straight, whatever feels good to you. So think about your fingertips relaxing, your toes relaxing, your shoulders, neck, hips, everything just melts right down there into the mat or floor. Good. And then slowly bring that right knee into your chest. Stay there. And then 
unfold that right leg. You can grab your calf or your thigh. We'll just get a nice hamstring stretch. Okay, so holding it here, wherever feels good. And while you're in it, if you'd like to roll out your ankle, you're welcome to do that. And then reverse it if you're rolling it out. Good. Bend that knee and then drop that right leg down. Left knee comes in, stay here. Unfold that left leg, relax your shoulders and neck. Roll out that leg if you want to up there. And reverse that. You're going to hold that thigh a little more or the calf. Really relax the neck. Think about that hamstring you're stretching back there, that big, long muscle. You should feel it. Good. Both feet are on the ground now. Right leg up, cross the right ankle over the left knee, and you're just gonna hold this hip opener. Okay, so stay with that. You can press down, open a little more. And then if you want to, lift the left foot off the ground. I always interlace my fingers under the left thigh and bring those legs a little bit closer. So you can get as close as you want to go. You should really feel a good piriformis and glute stretch. A lot of people get really tight in that deep, deep piriformis muscle in here. And this is the best stretch for it. And then both feet come down. Left ankle over the right knee. Open that hip up again. Stay here. You can press it open a little. If you want to get a little bit deeper, you can lift that right leg up now, interlace the fingers under the right thigh here, and then bring it in a little closer. Deep breath in, float out, bring it a little closer even. Nice. Relax the neck a little more. Fabulous. Good. Both feet are on the ground, knees are together, arms are out to the side. Good. We're just going to just look right and left, just stretch out that neck. If you want to add the little twist again, you can let those knees fall left, look right, keep the shoulders down, and then over to the other side. This should feel good, no pain, okay? And then come back out of that. All right, we're gonna roll over and get into a tabletop. So flat back, your wrists are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. Um, I'm also gonna have you do the cat cow from here. So if you don't like it, you can stand up, okay? All right, so we're gonna be arching our back up. Look at your belly button, and then you're gonna be dropping your belly button down and look up. Exhale, look at your belly button, arch your back. Inhale. Drop it down and look up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And then we're gonna just make our way up. If you wanna try downward dog, you're lifting those glutes in the sky. You can either come back down, or if you can, walk your feet in, roll it up slow, or just get up however you're most comfortable. Really just making sure you're not dizzy at the top, okay? And then you're just gonna stand up really tall. Grab that sip of water if you need it. When you're up there, you can roll your shoulders out. This should feel good. All right, we're gonna finish off with our side bends and just some deep breaths in and out. So push your palms to me if you can. Bring those arms up overhead, shoulders are down, bend the knees slightly, and then just gonna lean to one side. Okay, if this is too much on your arms or shoulders, let one arm go and just stay here.
Good. And then windmill those arms. You're gonna interlace the fingers, push it up, lean over. Let that ear fall again. Relax. If this is too much, you just let one arm go. Stay here. Very nice. Good. We'll do one hip hinge with a roll up and then deep breaths. Okay, lift those hands up. Hip hinge, folding at the hips. Come all the way down, bend the knees. Slightly stack your spine, rolling it up all the way to the top, neck and head last. Good. Crisscross those arms. Take your deep breath in. Exhale, blow it out, sit in those heels. Good, two more times. Breathing in through the nose. Exhale, blow it out. Last time, deep breath in. Exhale, blow it out. Standing tall and 